technology. Today I'm going to show you a classic imaging features of uh, ankylosing spondylitis on imaging that is the x-ray and MRI. So the first imaging finding which I'm going to show is the squaring of the vertebra. Usually the vertebra are not of square shape. You can see here the vertebra are completely squared up. You can see the box which I have given adjacent to the vertebra so, so that to understand the, what exactly is happening here. Uh, you don't see the, that concavity of the vertebral end plates. You see the squaring, the straightening of the vertebral end plates, which gives the squaring of the vertebra appearance. And coming to the next finding is the ossification of supraspinous ligament as well as the interspinous ligament. If you see, there is a thin ossification which is happening in the midline, which you are seeing here, <clears throat> joining the spinous process is the ossification of the supraspinous or interspinous ligaments, which gives the appearance of a dagger sign. And if you see the syndesmophytes, which is continuous, they are thin and smooth, continuously running along the vertebra and bilaterally. And this entire spine on coronal or the AP wave on X-ray gives you a bamboo spine appearance because of this smooth syndesmophytes. And this is the same smooth syndesmophytes I am showing here on the lateral view of uh, lumbar sp lumbosacral spine X-ray. You can see the syndesmophyte is very smooth. And important point is. It is not an osteophyte. Osteophyte is different from syndesmophyte. Osteophytes are very thick and broad and irregular. They are not smooth and thin and continuous with the adjacent vertebral end plates. That is the important point to remember uh, between the syndesmophytes and osteophytes. And coming to MR image, you can see here two types of lesions that is Anderson and Romanus lesions, which is classic of ankylosing spondylitis.